I'm Rebecca Fryer with Kingstonist News. Here's what's making headlines today, July 22nd, 2022. The Repeat Offender Parole Enforcement Squad, also known as ROPE, needs your help locating a wanted federal offender with ties to the Kingston area. 60-year-old Kevin Belanger is wanted on a Canada-wide warrant for breaching his release conditions and is currently serving a six-year, three-month sentence for a variety of charges, including impersonation of a peace officer, identity fraud, and using a badge to impersonate a peace officer. Police say Belanger is white, five foot seven inches tall, approximately 140 pounds with gray hair and brown eyes. Police say he's also known to frequent the Hamilton, Prescott, Cornwall and Ottawa areas. Anyone with information regarding his whereabouts is asked to contact OPP or Crime Stoppers at 1-800-222-TIPS or online at crimestoppers.ca. Thanks to the public's help, Kingston Police, a military police at CFB Kingston, have identified the suspect who broke into the Kingston Military Resource Center, and they've now been identified. Police say the master key that was also taken during the break and enter has been retrieved. OPP say three of the four stolen golf carts from Loyalist Golf and Country Club have been located, but they're still on the hunt for the final missing cart. Police say the carts were initially stolen from the golf course located in Bath, just west of Kingston, sometime between 10 p.m. on July 5th and 5 a.m. on July 6th. The golf carts are described as Yamaha and sandstone in color. One of the carts was captured on surveillance cameras being towed by a black truck on a trailer see that here. You can check out the image at kingstonist.com to get a little further in depth and let police know if you have any information. MP for the Kingston and the Islands Mark Gerritsen was at Innovation Park yesterday to announce $2.5 million in federal investment for early stage clean tech companies in Ontario, specifically Green Center Canada, located right here in the Limestone City. The investment will allow Green Center to deliver the Advanced On program. It's a combination of access to specialized lab equipment and technical experts to help early stage clean tech companies commercialize their technologies and expand their businesses. To help community level organizations looking to get back into vital sports and recreation programming in their communities, the Ontario Sport Network has distributed $7 million through the Emergency Relief Community Sport and Recreation Grant Program. And of the 234 organizations to receive the funding, five of them are located right here in the Kingston area, including the Gananoque Islanders and Kingston Frontenacs hockey teams, Loyalist Township Minor Hockey Association, and two pickleball organizations. The Kingston Pickleball Club and Third Shot Drop. You can read more about these sports organizations right now at kingstonist.com. Lastly, Woodbine Park is going to be extra busy today, Friday, July 22nd, as Kingston BMX Association hosts the 40th annual Founders Day race in honor of Peter O'Neill, one of the most influential figures in BMX racing in Kingston. O'Neill will return to the track that he built over 40 years ago as part of a special celebration of his contributions to the sport. Friday's Founders Race will start at 5.45 p.m. with a parade lap, followed by the official race program getting underway around 6 p.m. For more on these stories and other headlines, or to submit your own news, visit kingstonist.com and become a subscriber today. I'm Rebecca Fryer. Have a great one, Kingston.